what's going down everybody and welcome to the all seas collectors edition podcast my name is james i am your host followed by my co-host and lovely wife trish hey chris the beard packham hey there look at stylish in that tie-dye niners hat tonight Ooh, yes sir yes. ajrdm cheers uh ken behind the camera always yo ks production z yes. helping him out Thank you, Z. Thank you. And our special guest tonight, Bonnie. Hi. Amy Anastasia, a special guest, artist guest at, at the All Seas Upcoming Fan Expo. Yeah. Super What's excited for date? that show. Right. What's the dates of that event? 23rd, 24th, and 25th of September. Low, low price of $5 admission. Great deals on VIP passes and weekend passes as well. Come by, support local art, support Aurora Rise charity. Also get your uh, items back at graded, a live card grading. Live grading again at the event. Slabbing done. 20% off any service of Beckett at the All Seas Fan Expo. Again, event starts Beautiful. September 23rd. And to avoid confusion, there is no live slabbing at the show. Live grading. Live grading. <laughs> yeah. They can't move that welder. That welder is like a huge, you know, yeah, huge it, machine. It takes two, three people, you know, carry I, it At least, power. I would imagine. It's probably a thousand pounds. I don't know. Not sure. Probably not something that's It's a big machine. They don't want to move around. Honestly. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, not happening. All right. What is happening is we got awesome, awesome sponsors of this podcast, and they are Game to Gamer, Pocket Games up in Pierce, Colorado, Angelo CDs and Records, Colpar Hobbies, Zion Cases, NLG and the Iron Lion down in Colorado Springs. You can see all these lovely uh, sponsors at the LC's Fan Expo. Come check us out there again. And we uh, like to also give you things and prices for being part of this podcast <laughs> and uh, participating, liking, sharing, following. What do they got to do, AJ, exactly? All right. This month we are giving away this Top 50 Collectibles E3 Art Collectible set. This set is amazing, done by our local artist E3 Art, Eddie Rhodes. He did the Top 50 Collectibles as chosen by himself and James. The backs of the cards are written by myself here. There is also two hits in every box. That's going to include original art from E3 Art and some awesome things you can collect and turn in for stuff here at the store, including like silver. So check that out in order to like and to win. You need to like, share, and comment here on Facebook, over on YouTube, on Twitter, on Podbean, on Apple, iTunes, everywhere that podcasts are found. About a dozen chances every week for you to go ahead and like and share and get your chance to win. At the end of the month, we will add all those up, throw them into a random generator, and have one winner. Key thing there, make sure you're sharing. A lot of you people don't do the share step, and it right. gets it so you don't get that entry. Get it done. Share it. I'm sharing it right now. Right now, getting it That's going on doing, there. You know Loving I mean? it. Share it around. Be part of the collectible world. Please interact with us. Be a part of it with us live, as always. We like to hear your chatter, <laughs> com questions, comments, concerns. Please hit us up with those as well. All right. We're going to jump into the markets. Gold, $1,710. Up 20, but down, really. Silver, 1857 up 90 cents. So it's making a gain of almost a dollar in a day when it's at $18. So it tells you everything's screwy right now. The markets make no sense. Buy metals, gold. We, my dad had a good point the other day. Russia's selling precious metals right now. The ruble's backed by gold. So, yeah, they're having Russia is sell selling off, off to their metals the to fund the war. Yeah. Buying from North Korea now. Why? Nothing better than selling your country's assets to fund mm -hmm. the war. What? What, what's the point in all of that? To reunite Honestly. the Soviet Union, comrade. Mm, because oh. because they, they're, it's going worse than they thought, and they don't want to lose face again because they lost in Afghanistan. So they're like, we really want this country, so let's take it. And uh, we lost a great today. Morons. Queen Elizabeth, God rest her soul, RIP. Queen Elizabeth, the wannest running monarch. Or she what is it? We, exactly. we have that in. Oh, yeah, that's why I was she joking did. about the British accent today. So we're going to talk about that more entertainment news, but that directly affect affects the markets. markets. Yes, sir. Uh, they waited till 5 p.m. in Britain after the markets had closed to announce it. And there is a lot to do with protocol with that. They have to tell the family, then the prime minister before they're allowed to announce. But we're going to cover that in uh, the entertainment news there. Bonnie's been following it all day. It's one of the reasons I brought her along. Charles is wow. king. Yeah, yeah, King Charles the III. Queen and Queen Consort well, Camilla. Yes. Queen, uh, king in waiting, right? Because he hasn't been crowned. No, yet. the second she dies, he becomes yeah. queen. But wow. they will. He will be. Give yeah, him there's the like a coronation. Yeah. They're going to tell him the winner's but coming. But Camilla is queen consort. Earlier this year, the queen announced that she would take <laughs> the title. <laughs> oh my! Sorry. I got goosebumps. That's crazy. I thought because her Too birthday soon? was like uh, sometime this yes. month, and, and I'm like, she yes. could make it. To she died on the original but, Elizabeth's birthday. Yeah, she died on Elizabeth the first birthday, which I think is kind of like. Sweet and cyclical in a cool way. Sounds yeah, like definitely. <laughs> My favorite. Well, literally, literally is coming. Too. I don't know, but I mean, we'll get into that. But they definitely like off short. <laughs> so. 
Yeah. They're like, all right, this is the time, Queen. Bad enough. <laughs> Right. She is yeah. very old. But one of the last monarchies, uh, alliarchies or something now, right? Actual monarchies. Yeah. Um, and one of the weird because well, she doesn't have powers. No, that's still. what we're talking about. Monarchy. Yeah, but she has a lot of power in the Commonwealth, not yes. in Britain, but like so. The monarchy had a lot to do with uh, bringing down apartheid in South Africa because they have power in the places like that. And this goes back to collectibles again. She is on so many worldwide coins; it's crazy. So, She's got to be on more coins than anybody in the history of ever of coins. So what I was bringing up earlier was that all of like the actual currency in the UK is going to have to change. It's going to be King yeah. Charles's face. There's the, parliamentary law again. Canada, Australia, all Canada's all uh, South, yep. not South Africa as much. I guess no but, South Africa anymore. New the, Zealand, Canada, all, all their money or all their currency now has stuff. to have his yeah. face on it from Wait, here on out. But why? So why does that? Okay, so like we have our presidents on our. Mm -hmm. So ours yeah, is just the, that's why? how we, the, we do not have any living president on currency. Uh, and right. that's, so you have to be passed. Away ours is chosen states. by the treasury department and they have like their own process. But there's an actual parliament law in England that says the current monarch has to be on the currency. Because it's an old law, always, but a king, it oh. just goes back to Roman times. Yep. Yeah. A king's always on the coin. Okay. So but we don't have a king. We're, we're a revolutionary uh, anarchist. So we, uh, yeah. you have to be dead and we don't have kings. All right. Well, so sorry. I have so many questions. About yeah. This, but um, so why do, why do they have, Okay. What, it, what's going to happen with the old money so the, it can still be used and it'll slowly as it gets taken by banks be put taken out of circulation right. but all new money printed from here on out is going to have to have new so going, designs with his face 23rd which, going forward that's going to affect things like we we're talking about it's going to affect the actual market because that means they have to put the money in to change the money because you have to get new printing plates you have to get all yeah. it, there's going to be an investment to have to switch all this well, over. And you know the back to collectibles the proof mint in australia and the, uh, the royal canadian mint are both magnificent mints they make the finest Silver oh, coins is known. It's like coins. tradition of mintage of coins. So yeah. uh, especially the proof mint. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what Did happens. Did break it twice there? See Charles. Charles in silver and gold. Uh, I hope he's wearing the crown. It's this is gonna be a thing. The do they strike it it off the side? Uh, <laughs> proof, they do have proof strikes. Yes, they do. Okay. And the proof mint actually has like a. It's. I think proof is somewhere in Australia. Proof Australia or? It's, I'm not positive. But it's called the proof mint. I think Australia. it is in Australia. Uh, it, it is uh, in Australia, but I don't know why the name is Pruth. I, so, oh, Pruth is a part of Australia. I'm trying to remember where. That's where the mint is, and that's why. Um, did not know that. I didn't see Excel in geography class. But yeah. uh, what up, Joe? <laughs> I didn't yeah, but <laughs> it is called the Pruth. That was a long time ago. But so they I use great, great uh, Pruth strikes on their coins. It's awesome. They do the kookaburra. They're still drawing the map when Chris is cold. <laughs> sure. Oh, Australia oh, was still a prisoner, still a prisoner <laughs> state of the, the, the king of King Henry the Eighth at the time. No, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, we oh, love you, Chris. Chris. And what we love, and we'll get back to that later in the entertainment. You can answer that question. Yeah. What we love is picks from the beard That's and wrong. your great comic picks, my friend. That's what you know. Well, Not I can say when I was in school, the map was like a lot different. We didn't have as many countries, so yeah, the wall was in Berlin. It That's was true. It, the wall was in Berlin. Like I wouldn't like what my freshman year of high school like my first day of high school first class was taking western civilization yeah and i walk in we, we all sit down do the whole little thing you do at the beginning of class introductions all that stuff and, they, and the teacher's like hey you need to come up here and grab a map for each continent it was like you have until christmas break to study the maps and take a test to learn where all the continents are and yet yeah, however many you took depends on what kind how of how many continents are there chris there are seven. Yeah, that's a good answer. And you know, so you had to you had to five. You had to five. And it's like, well, Europe was Europe was pretty easy because half of it was two thirds of it was I'll take know, Antarctica. Soviet Union. And those those that in Australia <laughs> were not on oh, the list. Dang it. But that, you know, that's, that's pre Soviet <laughs> Union and all those other guys breaking up. So you had a lot less countries back then. <sighs> Well, there's no countries or cities in Antarctica. That's nope. what I would think. No, nope. it's just a giant block of ice. Yes. Penguins. That's happy feet. Although yeah. Germans are allegedly. It's dead. controlled by four different areas with one area that is controlled by only science. Right. Yeah. Argent That's Argentina live. would be the closest country located <laughs> to it. Oh, I see them picks. First up, we got a new book from a blaze called Boogeyman. Oh, Boogeyman. Tis the season. I this like is a new horror story. Horror books. If you've not been reading a blaze, they've been putting out some really good comics. So they got some cool horror comics and action comics and stuff and aj chris and i are expanding our horror comic books we are for the season and alone but oh man 
with the stagnant of superhero books, maybe in DC a little bit now and reading, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to expand our independent books and get a little more horror. And different yep. Titles, and so. we're seeing some really good titles come back. Like we've been seeing a lot of good independent horror titles and just independent titles that had done runs. And now that we're getting those second runs and it's going to be a good time for those. It's just in the bills already scored. Bills. Kicking off. I Ooh. wanted to wait till Shocker. To celebrate the first week of football. It's a great, Ooh. great day. Woke up today with a little skiddy up in my step. I've been watching those fantasy all, all right. day. Ooh, what ooh. do you got, Chris? I, this is yet. this is for that James. Yeah, for me, Trish. He loves these series. He loves this series. This book's actually kind of fun. This is the new Trailer Park Boys one shot called In the Gutters. Yes, it's kind of the Trailer Park Boys is a really funny show, and if the comic book's been pretty good because I believe don't the guys who write the who yeah, do the work bubbles, on the show bubbles, bubbles, yeah, write the, don't they do something with the comic? Oh yeah, they are yeah. all about it. I told them not to gun it. The whole hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> they've been so really that good. Show, that show is directly <laughs> made, funded, produced, yeah. everything by them. That's cool. I guess in public access TV in Canada, it's yeah. different than here. You can yeah. actually go have a Wayne's World show in Canada. Yes. You know what I mean? Go ahead. And uh, but it's a it really good. They do it like quarterly, I think. Yeah, or twice a year or something. They'll do like a that. Halloween but special yeah. of that too. They're they're a fun read. I, I recommend it if you've never read it before or watch the show because James made me watch the show a couple years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. During that down, lockdown, yeah. that's what we watched, Trailer Park Boys, I and I really enjoyed I it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, tied him down. Yeah, exactly. You you if you're watching this, old man. I'm like, okay. Watch Trailer Park Boys. Like the first time I'd ever watched it too. We got issue two of AXE. Death to Mutants. Death to Mutants. This is a tie-in to the Judgment Day going on right now. The war between Avengers, Eternals, and X-Men. It's been really good so far. I'm looking forward to seeing this book right here. It's weird for them to throw the Eternals into that because the Eternals beat the Avengers and the X-Men if they're done right. If they're Jack Kirby's Eternals. I thought they were dead. Well, yeah, because they're... Know. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're more powerful. They should easily <laughs> win. If Marvel's taking people out, they're going to back. Big DC book this week. <laughs> Continuation the Flashpoint Beyond. This is Flashpoint Beyond number five. Where once again, if you have not heard, once again, for like the fourth or fifth time in the last 15 years, we learn the Joker's real name. Now, we don't know which Joker this is. Is it just their Joker? Is he one of the three Jokers? Is it the Sam official Smith? Joker? What is his name? It was Jack something. Uh, oh, did they go with the old one, uh, Jack? It wasn't Jack Napier. It was Jack. Uh, I don't remember. I, don't uh, remember. I was expecting Napier. Napier. Would have been, that would have been better. That's what I expected. Be. Hey, a little Jack Kerouac. I'm in. <laughs> Let's keep it going. A new Black Label book came out this week. From Super Lee excited Bermejo, for this. Who wrote the awesome Joker sequel oh yeah that thing. Or, this uh, one looks really comic. interesting love the art and batman yeah. damned is it the same the, artist as the from batman damned yeah from batman damned and he wrote that joker which is the sequel to the dark knight mm -hmm. that uh, uh keith ledger was the yeah, joker this is the or, batman dear detective yes batman dear detective new black label book it's really cool because it is like 95 percent artwork there's only a couple pages with lines on it that tell the story and I highly recommend this book because I, I read it before the show started, and the art, his artwork is amazing. It is amazing. That's where I'm at. Libra Mero artwork is amazing. He does Batman and his group of people really He made the well. Batwiener famous, sir. He did make the Batwiener famous. Oh, jeez. There's that. Okay, he, did. That. He, he did. He did. He did. He did. He did. He did. 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 Oh, he missed yeah, that one. Artwork. That artwork's amazing. Look at that two-faced James. Oh, that's cool, man. I love it. That's badass. I love old school painters, too, man. We got to go back to the roots. All right. What else we have? Roots is Roots and Magic the Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. Give me them gaming releases. Which one? Let's start there. Which gaming release? Oh, my gosh. We're going to start. Ken's got it in his hands. So we're going to talk a little bit about this Pokemon Lost Origin. Lost Origin booster box at $100 a box. Best deal in town, period. We also have the Lost Origin ETBs at $40 each. We have Lost... And back to that real quick. We'll match anybody's deal at any retail brick-and-mortar store. Not talking Costco, but collectible hobby shop, gaming shop. I'll match anybody's price. We will match them. You heard it here. We've got that Pokemon Lost Origins in. We have the ETBs. We have the actual boxes. And then as we get through release, they're going to start doing as they always do your tins, your individual mini tins, all those pieces, hot, hot set here. We've been waiting for this to come out, but the other big one here is that Dominaria magic Dominaria 
five different types of booster boxes we can, or different types of things we can get on. First one is going to be your booster bundles. Classic, we used to call them fat packs. They're the equivalent of an ETB, your booster bundles for Magic. We're going to have those at $40. We have our jump start boosters caught me a second they're the brand new one take two of these slap them together you get a brand new deck so that's going to be a new style of booster they're doing it's the cheapest booster box there it is a 79.99 booster box we have the draft boosters your classic boosters for drafting those are going to be 110 100 a box 100 box uh we have set boosters at 119.99 and the best deal in town on those collector boosters with a chance to pull those cards from the legends 240 so come in, get all of your magic product there. Big hits in these magic ones. People pulling Tabernacle of Hender Vale, selling it for five figures, I saw, if it's fresh out of the pack. When I opened, I opened some pre-releases at the new store, and I saw a lot of playable cards. A lot of good land cards. Liliana the Veil back. Yeah, a lot of good a lot of, a lot of good red, a lot of good green. Oh, Not a lot of blue cards. Not a lot of blue strength in this thing. Which is good because I don't. Like mm, they I think they're saving the to ferry for next set. Next set is time ways. travel. I think we're expecting to ferry and a lot of that stuff in the next set. Well, this, so I'm just I'll set, give my hand there. Like because the last couple sets have been kind of like a eh, little bit, except for with the exception of the double masters. I don't know if it's uh, sets or the amount of product. They it, it's a mixture of both. So part of that, Ken, is you're also thinking they had that commander set in between. Baldur's yeah. Gate is a commander set is always a weird one when they do commander ones. But this is your. We haven't had a standard set since back in april when we talked about new capenna so this is our next standard set so that's bringing everything into play bringing liliana the veil back into standard which means she's now in pioneer the most popular of the magic formats all that's going to be really good traction great staple card a lot of good planeswalker i pulled in a johnny yep um, oh that is johnny he turned into a phyrexian in the set what they do to my boy oh <laughs> that's, that's, that. that's what i'm asking is i mean there's a lot of cool planeswalker cards making the, the the sets those cards that were that end oh, kind of stuff a little bit better playable so in the decks yep basically where i was getting with this is this is also the rotation set so this is in my opinion always the best point in all of standard because this is the set that brings in the new rotation. We lose the stuff that wasn't meant to play together with the set, and now we are just down to the core five sets that were meant to interact well together. I see. Good jump, jumping That's off good. point for someone Great coming Great point. And yeah. right now, we're going to be kicking up Pioneer tournaments over there. We actually have some of the best tournaments in town right now. We are going to be doing $15 drafts. Every eight-player draft we're going to fire, we have a set booster box going into the prize pool. Also, if you guys are into Pioneer, again, that hot new magic format that's been popping off there, we are going to be doing free booster boxes on Saturday and down at the All Seas Gaming Arena and All Seas South. So come on in, free tournament, one booster box put into the prize pool, chance to get some of those core new Pioneer staples like Liliana the Veil. That's banger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Absolutely. just for people who don't know, what is Pioneer? Pioneer is basically the new modern. Modern went back to 8th edition. Pioneer goes back, and I, I like this personally just because the gaming arena over there, it goes right back to right before Theros, that uh, Core 24. 2013 i think is what it is so the return to ravnica all those sets we opened on return to ravnica gate watch theros zendikar? uh oh zendikar is way later okay. uh, or return <coughs> to zendikar is but this starts with the exact sets that we started the gaming arena with which i right. think is kind of fun and it goes through that the only cards that were originally banned were the fetch lands because they didn't want to have five not ten of the fetch lands since only five of them have been printed since then the ban list is fairly small they keep it down to just main things and everything printed in standard always gets rotated into pioneer now awesome 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 that's good stuff I get, it's a great set to jump in on. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of easy plays, so it, goblins are a thing in it. You know what I mean? Red cards is always easy to play. I used to play Rat Gang. And something that they are doing that I love is okay. they... Hey, what a surprise. They're doing a block. <laughs> so they Magic used to do these things called blocks where two or three sets together would all be a story, and then they stopped doing it, and it became a lot of solo sets right. for the last three years. Right. So this... We have a block that is this set here. Then the next set is going to be the Brothers War. It's going to go back in time and tell us how the Phyrexians started. Ooh, cool. And then we're going to come back to the Rise of the Machines is going to be the Phyrexian like end cap and yeah, what happened yeah. with them. And then it does a cleanup story at the end of that that's going to be, I think, Phyrexia United, or I might have mixed Rise of the Machines and Phyrexia United. But they're doing a full story of the Phyrexians, which Getting we haven't them, seen for a few years. So we have a bunch of cool magic novels on eBay right now. Oh, yeah. And AJ printing them and looking on uh it just brought me back to a lot of days with those old stories of magic. It used There's to give us a card in there. That was great. I Look mean, you should revisit those and make more of that again. Absolutely. Good stuff. Uh, sports card releases, we have none. Nothing this week. We Nothing with the, the release of football this week. The beginning of football. Congratulations, everybody. It's a holiday today. Ooh. Yay. Football's back. Looks like the Bills are up 7-0. Thanks for joining us and not watching football right now. Um, <laughs> you know who's also up 7-0? AJ over Packham. Ooh. 
and none of my players play till Sunday, so I'm not going to be all sad. <laughs> you ain't going to worry about that right now. Uh, after- I know what you're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let you take over, and I'm going to go fix my contact real quick. Okay. Well, so- that brings us to Trish's show and tell. Trish's show and tell. That's it. Well, that one. So, there's a couple of things I was going to show today. Um, one of them we have here is the King Kong from Godzilla and Kong, the 2021 movie. Um, you can't really see a whole lot in this box, but when you get up close on it, it is extremely detailed. His face is, is well, here, let's have you shove it in the camera if you would. Um, that, see, and I hate how the light just doesn't do it any justice, but this guy is very detailed. Oh, <laughs> no, it still won't show it. Very detailed, though. Um, it's a cool piece. I thought that the Godzilla was going to come with it because that's the one that I love. But there's a lot of people that like Kong over uh, Godzilla. So this is kind of a James thing, too. Goes back to him getting yelled at by old Gare Bear after he was going around. And he saying, does look to come with that Kong. badass axe, though. I mean, saying, yes, he does that badass axe. Yes, the only way he can beat Godzilla is with something that takes Godzilla's power. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Except he wouldn't have survived long enough to get the axe. No, yeah, no. He, yeah, he should have died real like a long really time quick. ago. I actually did not watch the movie, but I hear you good things from people. Kong, this one Kong pretty got punked, and then he got sad. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, they can't. I wonder why he looks so end. pissed. Yeah, this is like it was like that in the pussy. No, shouldn't have looked it's actually bubble. a really cool fit. It's, it's part of the uh, SH Monster Arts line. I mean, so it was nowhere near as bad as Batman. Super I mean, highly it articulated. Was, yes, it is. SH Monster Arts. Yeah. So this came in. Um, this is something that you could pick up here as well as this Robocop 2. Chris, will you tell them about this? Because there are some, uh, some things in, about this particular character that I can't remember for the life of me what, what you guys were saying. This... Something about the stomach. This is RoboCop 2 from the movie of said name, written by the great comic legend Frank Miller, who also happens to play the guy who creates the drug Nuke in this movie. And he, RoboCop 2 is Kane. They decided that they needed a new RoboCop because Murphy, being able to think for himself, was bad, so they could control him. So they tried to they tried to get a drug addict to control him with drugs, That's and it doesn't. Yeah, it does. <laughs> His name is Kane, and. Uh, but it was, it's a highly detailed toy. It's from our friend Kurt Bishop's favorite line of toys, Haya. 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 One of my all-time favorite movies of all time, Robocop yeah. 2. Written by the great Frank Miller. Again. Three gets, he gets the jetpack, right? Yes. Yes. It's not two. So and that was not Peter Weller. <laughs> Frank Miller other, stars oh, in that movie. Frank Miller. One other cool thing that came in. <clears throat> in a uh, Barbie collection that James bought. And still the little girl in me can't help but go over there and look at everything. I was hoping to find the one with stars on it, but instead <clears throat> I stumble on the one and only Lois Lane. Nice. This, uh, she doesn't have her bow with her, but he's out there somewhere. But this is really cool. It's got a poster inside of Lois Lane and the dress is gorgeous. If Honestly, and Bonnie probably would feel the same way. If we had a chance to wear that dress, we oh, probably would. Heck yeah, I would yeah. wear that dress. I wow. just, I thought it was like super cool to not only see Barbie in a black dress, but it being Lois Lane and just kind of fitting for this this store. I thought that, oh, God, here we go again with the Barbies or dolls in the store when you yeah. said you were buying the collection. But on, like I said, I, I can't like Lois Lane is, over there. Lois Lane is a character, always a strong, independent woman. She never really Lane. needed Superman. Yeah. Superman no, she didn't. Or Clark Kent. She had her own Clark Kent was her going. rival. She didn't want to help his ass out at all. She yeah. was looking to surpass him and be better, you know? Yeah. The Adam as Superman. Yeah, so... Um, this is here uh, as well as probably like what 30 other Barbies over oh, there. Oh, we got a ton. Great um, deals. Christmas coming up. We got great deals on Barbies. Yeah. James and Trish gave one to Isabella for her birthday. And she birthday Barbie. Thing, yeah. Yep. Nice. Birthday Barbie. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. If anybody has little girls around Bella's age, up to who knows. I, I didn't stop playing with them until I was like 11 or 12 when my friend shamed me for playing with them. Damn. But I still secretly wanted to play with them. Shame. So I think I, I hid my Barbie addiction. From eleven to to about twelve. Chris has never let that stop him ever. No. Nope. Oh, Chris is still oh, okay. playing with Barbie. Oh, Sorry, no Barbies. No. But <laughs> yeah. Probably we got that wrestling ring built, that new one that Hasbro has left. Hey, it's up. cool, man. Hell yeah! All right, what's well, cool is the buys of the week, and we're gonna roll on to that next. 
we got this amazing piece just in today. A man's on fire. He's named Aaron Judge, New York Yankee. 2013 Bowman Chrome Blue Wave. Jim Mint 10 PSA 10 again. You can't get better than that. Is he at 53 now? Yeah, he's gonna kill I like it. that. This card's amazing. It's his true rookie card from 13. Sells for 800 plus dollars. Check it out on eBay right now. Next up on eBay right now, this gentleman is playing football as we speak. Matt Stafford, rookie with Pat White. That's out of exquisite, upper deck exquisite, high-end football. That's an exquisite rookie booklet patch. Pat Dual. White. Pat White. He was hot. That's probably his only football card. No, he was hot out coming out of college. Where did he play, Virginia? I don't remember. Yeah, something like that. Those autos on patches, too. That's, That's awesome. cool. West Virginia, I think Pat White played that. All right. Matt Stafford, of course, a Georgia Bulldog. Yes. Next up, Chris, what do we get for comic books, my friend? Uh, this is an FF19. Yeah, Rama Tut. First appearance of Rama Tut. This is CGC graded 3.5. And Rama Tut was Kang before they turned him into Kang. Yeah, he's been around since before man. Well, probably. and speaking of Kang, we have Avengers number eight, CGC graded 3.0, which is the first appearance of the Kang. Man, the man from the future, past and beyond, is a snappy dresser. I love his pants and green shirts. It's always outfit. a cool key. First appearance. I like that outfit Kang's wearing. You like Kang's outfit? He's, no. I do. I do like Kang's like outfit. My great grandma would have Damn. That's a star women. It's the 60s, bro. It's a different time. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Kang expect he's supposed to be the bad guy and one of the upcoming in the next wave of Marvel se selections, uh, movies and shows. So uh, always whole, a good thing. That whole wave four is gonna be Kang and all the I keep saying that. Uh, James let's see it. Really loves this book. <laughs> this book is primer number five. Primer five. CGC graded 9.0. What's primer, significant about this book, Chris? Six tits. Primer Wait, number what? five no. that is, significant. is the first appearance of the Max and <laughs> Sam Keith's first artwork. First published artwork first by published Sam Keith. First character mentioned as the Max. Love the Max. 90s fame. We could even know. What else we got? We got right here. Is, is that Mr. a new god, sir? Mr. Miracle number one. CGC graded 5.5. .5. Jack Kirby fame is a great book for anybody who's a DC collector. Jack Kirby fan, of course. Mr. Miracle. I always an underrated book. I love Mr. Miracle. He's one of my favorite New God characters. Brother to Orion. Yes. I mean, if your brother's Orion, I mean. Because he's technically half-brother because Orion is dark side well, son. Still. I mean, that's still family, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's still family. You know, they're writing each other Christmas cards. You know? Yeah, right. For sure. Right. He's the greatest escape uh, the greatest escape artist. Yes. We're going to get to the news and then the All Seas Fan Expo updates and Hecklar. Don't forget our phone call with Hecklar. He's going to have a trivia question for you coming up. It's going to be All Seas Fan Expo related. I know it. And he got us a cool little collection of his to show off. Maybe one of the gifts will be given away at the All Seas Fan Expo. All right. Entertainment news. The Queen is dead. Queen is dead. We were already talking about this. It's shaking the markets. They waited until, for a lot of reasons, but 5 p.m. British time is when it came out, which means markets were closed. So we won't actually see how this affects a lot of the British markets and the British pound until tomorrow. I wonder if they're going to keep it closed since tomorrow is Friday. Wait, yeah. let people sell. Yep, call it a bed. holiday. Yeah, morning, yep. damn morning. It's probably right. A good call. So that is going to definitely have some flips on collectibles in general. There is a lot of British collectibles that don't go up until the monarchy passes. And when the monarchy does, and we get into that next wave of them making it, that's they make when... make a lot of British collectibles, whether it be uh, Princess I was about to say, or... Now, the issue here, though, is this queen was in for so long yeah. that it might not make much of a difference. She was around. Her father was the king during World War II, if people didn't know. I mean, mm -hmm. She was actively like around doing stuff during World War II. Right. Crown on Netflix covers a lot of that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a couple movies on it, too. You know what I mean? Just, just a couple. Just a couple. I suppose <laughs> on entertainment news, there's also uh, Game of Thrones. Just, uh, I guess, we haven't been watching. I'm like another episode. They keep, they're doing these time jumps, six months, three years. It's driving me nuts. How much they live in last night instead of that? Well, they live right Classic. Huh? Classic. Classic. That movie I ain't watching is, that either. I'm watching They Live, bro. Right, that. and it's more and so... more funny every time that I watch that's that movie. That's supposed to be funny. It's, it's but I can't, I can't thing, help it. Trish it's, loves it's, that last scene. Funny, just gets that... Trish every time. <laughs> what the? Uh, hey, baby. What's the matter, baby? What's wrong, baby? <laughs> that's great. 
great movie. It you is. know, what, you know, what is really good is that Day Shift. If you haven't seen that, yes, with Jamie oh, Fox. we talked about that. Great movie. Yeah, yeah. So that so great movie. Morbius is on Netflix. If you haven't watched that one no, yet, oh, is it? Movie. Yeah, I don't want to watch it. Do you watch it? No, the no, love, no, uh, Thor, no, Love and no, Thunder is uh, out finally on Vampire Disney. movie. Oh, it's yeah. so fun. See, I told he's got to watch it with me. He was supposed to take me to the theater. We didn't go. So I told him now it's free and it's at home. You got to watch it with me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thor and Love and Thunder on yeah. NC Plus. That came out uh, yesterday. Yeah. Or today. What's today, today is week yeah, one of yeah, NFL. Yeah. Going Bill's on right now. Winning right now over the Rams 7 0. Josh Allen got a TD to who did he get a TD to? Godwin? Uh, do you believe yeah. in Godwin? Oh, oh, damn, Ken gets lucky. Really? Marie Keys, Godwin. Uh, yeah, but you got the passing touchdown. No, Davis. Touchdown. Yeah, that's it. Oh, Gabriel Davis? Yep. Yeah. All, right, all right. So that was his first passing touchdown, too. Really? All right. Josh Allen and a pick. He has an interception, too. So. Mm. All right. Let's keep going. AEW, Fire and CM Punk today. Got that, got that news from Josh Reagan today. Okay, Josh Reagan is not showing information. <laughs> he's been suspended. Yes. Well, I want to say he's fired. Probably, he's, probably. The word they use is, is suspended indefinitely. That uh, yeah. sounds like a firing. Probably wait until the uh, results of the third-party investigation. And stemming from a fight after their last pay-per-view on Sunday, AEW All Out, where CM Punk won the title from John Moxley. Moxley the, has the title, huh? Yeah, he had the interim title. CM oh, Punk had the title because he got then he broke his foot. Then they made an interim title like UFC and boxing. Don't don't make Josh Reagan come over here and, work. and uh, <laughs> he, uh Jim is gonna fired. Yeah, Josh Reagan yeah. reports are getting fired. Going with firing. Josh they're getting rid of him. <laughs> yeah. It was a full oh, they on real are fight. firing him because he's thank you for joining us, Josh. And live reporting on the field. Cancer right? to the locker room since I had it because he hates Adam Page and he hates Coke Cabana and he hates. Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks oh, and all those I other hate guys all those guys and, too, so I get it. And Tony Khan, but you though, don't work for them. <clears throat> after this whole incident in AEW, uh, their pay per view being third out of the pay per views over Labor Day weekend this weekend, he came out with a big statement saying that last year he was first during Labor Day weekend. This year he was third, but he's not even started yet. And if WWE thinks he started playing, just wait till they see how much money he really has. Was like what his comment was. So. Well, with WWE, mm. Braun Strowman made his return. That he did. House. Check out your boy Otis. He's he his favorite wrestler. That's not my favorite. That's <laughs> I don't even watch Smash no more, and they still suck. Yo, oh, damn. Oh. Damn. All right. Well, that's all we're talking about. We're talking about like and wrestling. Right like and wrestling here, so sir. Thank you. Yeah. Braun Strowman made his return. We like that. Clash in the like castle. See how he messed up, though? How he came in and you don't like wrestling. So why do you? Know you ain't about even it? talking. You don't like wrestling. <laughs> Clash in the castle was amazing. <laughs> yes. I, I'm just saying. I, while the Roman Reigns uh, Drew McIntyre match was good, I think the best match there was that um, Gunther versus Sheamus. My yes. God, that was a brawl. Yes, that was good. It was a good Gunther, match. Gunther, just his name kills. Me. Gunther. Why we go by Gunther? Gunther. So, All right. Like, somebody can take a shit on it. So <laughs> <laughs> yes, like yes, yes, you're right on that one. See, um, that's it. I guess we're gonna go. Uh, that's minutes. that. That's that. We're gonna go con news. What do you got, Kenny? The All Seas Fan Expo is just a mere. Two, and two and weeks, two and a half weeks. Uh, yeah, two and a half weeks basically. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be uh, September the, 23rd, 24th, 25th. I kept mentally pushing it up a week for some reason. I thought it was in a week yeah, I, and I thought uh, the Dallas car show was the weekend right before our show, so but then no, everyone's like, wrong. Yeah, yeah it's, Dallas it's, car that's show going on weekend, right now. Yeah. So, shout out to all the people we know that are down there right now. Yeah, hell you yeah. know, uh, uh, Adam Atkins is down there, Ken. Ken Yamada is down there. So nice. have a good time. Uh, you'll man. be able to get to Josh, see them. At Josh the, Salazar down there. Salazar is down there too. Uh, you're going to be able to see all those guys at the All Seas Fan Expo. Uh, hence the shout out. We are having Beckett there for live grading. That will give you a raw grade. Then it will be sent in for that slab. So you're at least guaranteed that grade. Now, can you get it better when they get it and do the thing? Probably, but they don't. They say you're at least guaranteed that grade. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of questions. It's $30 for that raw grading. If you want any of the grading services they offer, whether that be the, the fast turnarounds, the subgrades, whatever the case may be, it's 20% off whatever they charge. So that's the prices. Uh, we keep on getting asked about it over and over again. Uh, so we'll, we'll clarify that very clearly. $30 for raw grading and 20% off any other grading services that uh, you end up getting. Uh, CBCS will also be there taking submissions. Uh, so we'll have that there. 
BAS. Yep, BAS for authentication uh, should also be there. Uh, so we're we're just we're ramping it up for the collectors for Ramped collectibles. Up. Ramped right? up full, it's, it's gonna full throttle, baby. It, we got toys, we right. got cars, we got non-sports, yeah. sports cars, we got Funkos, we got anything ramped. collectible is gonna be there. Uh, and then and going forward with the future shows with twenty five thousand square feet in April, we're gonna we're gonna have a slew of new vendors that have been chomping at the bits to get into the show from out of state, bringing their collectibles from the East coast, West coast and the South. And again, thanks to so, Royal rice, our great partner, always with all these collectibles, getting, working together, getting this great, great room at the Rabo County fairgrounds. So, uh, 26,000. Yeah. going to be raising feet. funds for Aurora rise and they're going to be making their last push for that awesome, uh, plate for license plates. Yes, yeah. we are. Yeah, so come this weekend in two weeks to get yep, that take sign a look, up license, sign up for the license plate. And have that new plate on your car, on your ride in April. That's uh, the ideal. That's what we want to happen. Yes. You know, and maybe if you got a plate, maybe get free admission to the expo. You ooh, know what I mean? We could do something like that. I don't know how long it's going to take to get well, through the legislature. Hey, so don't free set it up for the September <laughs> one. But when they do, September. yes, yep. well, we will make that happen somehow, uh, somehow. So get out, come get your collectibles while you can. Uh, because it's going to be a whole lot of fun. $5 to get in for the day, but you're better off just buying the weekend pass because you're going to want the whole weekend to do things. Uh, come If you want, people ask this, will BGS be taking grade? Will they be open for VIP early access? Yes, they will. So if you want to get in there first and get your stuff in graded, if you're short on time. Even if Mike's running late, you'll be in line first. You'll, so be, really you'll be in line. You'll, right. They are going to be there, just to let you know. So that's just answering a lot of the questions. Also, pre-fill out your forms. Bring yeah, out your CBCL form. forms. You got a hundred cards, fifty cards. Pre-fill out your backup pre-fill forms. Out. Pre-fill out your BAS forms. No standing at the we'll booth doing the that. Pre- buy your tickets online on lccollectibles.com right now. Under the Fan Expo tab. Yes. In the time it's taken us to talk about the Fan Expo here, we have seen an interception to a fumble to an interception. Oh, damn. It is. Watch this, game. this is crazy. This game uh, is we got to wrap this shit up. We Before we call Heckler, I do want to say Friday night, everybody, 8 to midnight, come on out to the Stanley Marketplace. There is pancake and booze. Bonnie's going to be doing live painting up there. $15 for unlimited pancakes. Have some drinks. Get some paintings. Awesome, awesome. That's what cool. are you bringing to the expo? Anything? Uh, what's the big uh, Ooh, masterpiece? New, new things that are coming. We'll see. Um the stuff that's going to well, so I have to get through pancakes and booze before I figure out exactly <laughs> right, what's going on. Sorry, I'm so, so sorry. But I have a new thing coming tomorrow that uh I just posted on my Instagram today, but has never been to a show before. And we'll see. I would really like to do another series of the sirens that I did a few years ago. Nice. We'll see if I can get them done in time. Cool. The DC like, sirens? Yeah. Yes. We'll see if I, I can like your idea. um Super Mario Brothers one. That one was really, really cool. Yeah, oh, I, I think it's gone now, night. But yep. I know it is. I know because yeah. otherwise it would have been mine. <laughs> <laughs> now nice. that we have a house, because like every time I wanted to get it, we didn't have, you know, a place to Oh, Donald dog. David. Yeah. Yeah. What up, Donald storage. David? You come up Facebook user on here every time. It really brother. depends. He needs Good to, to see he needs Don. To follow it from the main account. Thanks for giving me the score of the game all the time, Don, of the podcast. Thank I you very much, Donald. Donald. Much love. Get Don did call this game. Bills winning. Don called it. Oh, yeah. All right. Join oh, yeah. me on the long box. He called it on Didn't there. Did they just start? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. This game's is crazy. They're going to win it if they just start. <laughs> right. We're still going to be right. Well, yeah. They won it before the game Don't started. Be, Matt Super Stafford's a beast. Aaron Donald's a beast. You saw that box of prestige? I got that box of prestige. Listen to that Matt Stafford rookie auto on today. I'm going to say Josh Allen card's overhyped right now. Too much. Okay. Heckler here. How you doing, Heckler? I'm doing pretty good. I just wanted to say I'm so excited about the All Seas Fan Expo. And that is September 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Absolutely. Me too, my friend. Yep. You know what I'm really excited about? What's that? Cowboy Bob Orton Jr., who rarely, he hasn't actually been in Colorado, I don't know, for very many years, is going to be signing autographs and talking wrestling with the fans. That's right. Who else is going to be there? The Bushwhacker Luke is going to be there. He, wasn't he crazy licking people's heads back in the 80s? Oh, he's an Australian down in the outback, you know? There has been one request for that. Yes, there has been a request for that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just see some of the tables get broken. He's going to pick people seems, up. Seems a little close and personal to me, don't you think? It's a little bit weird. Yes. Yeah, so, right. So, Trish, you 
You mentioned something at the last show, at the All Seas Fan Expo, that was about six months ago, right? I mentioned something? Yes, you said you liked Now and Laters. No. I love Now and Laters. Those are bombs. Well, I can't stop what? eating those You things. won the first Eklar Prize before the Fan Expo. Mm. And that is, you have a three-day supply that is endless of every flavor that exists. Ooh. Oh my god, how? Well, I've upgraded what I'm doing at the expo. There's a whole lot more than cash and just normal prizes, so make sure you come see me. I'm not selling anything, I'm just giving away free stuff. Oh my so, god, I'm why don't so you ask the question? The question is, so people have enough time before I get off the phone, and that question is, when was the Bushwhackers' first match in WWE, or WWF then, but it would be called WWE, and the bonus is, who did they play with, who did they fight in that first match? Who's so that's the question. The first person that answers gets something from Heckler's private collection. I got a guess, but I can't say. I want to know if hopefully somebody answers oh, this. I already tried to answer and I got in trouble. Good question, Heckler. Shout out to my two favorite artists at this time. Eddie Rhodes and Heidi Davis. They're great artists and there's a lot more. I will announce all of my favorite artists next Thursday at 620-ish. Beautiful. Right? What did you drop off the other day I have here in my hand, my friend? You've got a mad ball gun, and there's a reason it's missing the discs. It shoots discs, and why I brought one of my collectibles that is missing the final pieces is that now that eBay exists, you can just figure out through eBay how to get those discs, and then you have a perfect gun. But that red gun with the monster head, was something that Madball apparently did, or a knockoff. Do you know if it's a knockoff or from Madball? I didn't look at it to see if there was trademarkings on it. We could. I'll show you how to do that. And we'll see okay. if there's any markings on it, and we'll find out for sure. Cool. Yeah, and, it's a, uh, so this is an example of a piece you might be giving away at the show, right, my friend? Oh, yes. I'm bringing a bunch of stuff. There's going to be a lot of cash, a lot of stuff from Angelo's CDs and records, Colpar Hobbies, I'm going to be giving stuff out. I'm going to be giving comic books out from All Seas Collectibles. I'm going to be giving Nicola Play, I think, what, 4000 now? I've got $4,000 worth of gift certificates. And on that, I'm going to give away. Uh, with comic books Nicola. we're giving away, real quick, I'm going to give you some Matt Hawkins pieces to give away to people, too, that they can get signed by Matt Hawkins, who's another guest that will be there as well. That would be totally sick. Absolutely. Totally collectible. And so... Yeah, I'm going to have a lot. I want to give back to the All Seas people that come to your store and spend money. I want to make sure they leave with a lot of extra stuff from the one and only Eklar. <laughs> All Seas Fan Expo is going to be cool. It really is. All Seas, All Seas Fan Expo is going to totally rule. Eklar has cash and prizes for all sizes, moms and dads and kiddos too. So come to the All Seas Fan Expo, September 23rd, Friday, September 24th, Saturday, when Cowboy Bob Orton Jr. and Luke the Bushwhacker will be there signing and talking. And remember one thing, collect what you love at All Seas Fan Expo. Thank you all. Thank you, my friend. Great night. Great job, Hackar. Thank you very much. Kurt, thank you for joining us. Finally, Mr. Bishop, you made it. Right. We made it into your schedule. Busy day, my friend. I know you are. We got a question from Kurt Ken. What do we got for that question from Kurt? It says, who is most likely uh, to be related to Chris Packham, Man at Arms or Grizzlar? <laughs> oh, that is a good question. I think Chris would be more of a creation from Tila and Grizzlar if they had a love affair. That would be correct good answer, Bigfoot. <laughs> I, oh, man. I think it's Grizzlar and Tila, <laughs> love affair child, Chris Backham. That's what I think. But that's in a different universe. There we go. Away. Everybody. Yeah, kind of magical powers. She's find like your, the sorceress's kid. Yeah. Find, your ma find your master of figures, figures here at All Seas. Both two locations in town. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Have a great Bye, time. Guys. Keep, Keep collecting. collecting.